Today we'll be showing you how to remove and replace a Spears Flame Guard Torque Safe Fire Sprinkler Head Adapter using the Spears Sprinkler Head Adapter Removal Kit. The Sprinkler Head Adapter Removal Kit can also be used with all Spears Half Inch Head Adapters as well. The use of the Sprinkler Head Adapter Removal Kit gives you the ability to remove and replace a Fire Sprinkler Head Adapter without having to crawl in an attic or in an area with limited to no access. For this procedure, the tools that you will need are the Spear Sprinkler Head Adapter Removal Kit, which includes a deburring tool, an inside pipe cutter, and a head adapter backup wrench. You will also need a tape measure, a 964 Allen wrench, a 7 8 open end wrench or a ratchet with a fire sprinkler head wrench, and either a corded or cordless drill. For this demonstration, we will be removing a Spears TorqueSafe sprinkler head adapter and replacing it with a Spears TorqueSafe spigot sprinkler head adapter and a Spears 1 inch fire sprinkler coupling. We will also be using Spears FS 5 one step solvent cement. Before starting, make sure the fire sprinkler system is off and the system is drained. First, remove the escutcheon. Next, insert the Spears Head Adapter Backup Wrench. It is recommended that you use the Spears Head Adapter Backup Wrench to hold the Torque Safe Head Adapter firmly in place. Then using either an open end wrench or a fire sprinkler head wrench, remove the fire sprinkler head. You will now need to adjust the depth for the inside pipe cutter. You are going to want your cut right above the bead of the solvent cement. In this example we inserted the inside pipe cutter into a new torque safe sprinkler head adapter to determine our length right above where the bead line would be. For the Spears torque safe head adapter the measurement is 2 and 3 8 inch. Use an allen wrench to loosen the hex screw on the slide stop. Make the adjustment 2 and 3 8 inch from the top of the slide stop to the bottom of the cutting blade. This adjustment will vary depending on the head adapter. Now that you have the inside pipe cutter adjusted to the appropriate length, attach the inside pipe cutter to your drill and insert into the existing head adapter. Pull the trigger and work the pipe cutter in an angled circular motion until the head adapter is free. Now use the Spears deburring tool to prepare the pipe end for the replacement fitting. Now using the Spears FS-5 solvent cement, cement the coupling and the spigot head adapter together. Make sure the fire sprinkler drop is clean, then apply solvent cement. Also apply solvent cement to the one inch coupling and then attach the coupling to the fire sprinkler drop. After observing the proper set and cure times, replace the fire sprinkler head and discussion. Thank you for watching.